Hey everybody, I'm Goldilocks, NWA TNA's backstage interviewer. You know, when they called me for the job, I had no idea what I was in for. I thought it would be just a, a simple sports interviewing position. Little did I know that it would be nearly impossible to even get people to do an interview. <laughs> Nevertheless, even listen to me. Journey with me, if you will, from the beginning of my career to its demise. I hope you enjoy it. That everybody is talking about you versus Raven for the NWA world title. Yet I don't think he can even last a week. Earlier tonight, he threw down the gauntlet by saying he was going to drop the mother of all bombs on you. I mean, what do you think he meant by that? Sonny Siaki, uh, you requested this time to talk to us, so I want to. That's you right, Goofy Locks. Once again, Ace in the hole, Sonny Siaki is in charge. Can you give us some insight as to where Vince might have gone? Just not now, Goldie Locks. Going to get a word in with Jeff Jarrett, the new heavyweight champion. Mr. Funk, is Jeff Jarrett back there? We... Jeff Jarrett is back there. Could we get a word with him? We just want to ask a few questions before, this, before his match tonight. I'm sorry, but uh, Jeff Jarrett is not speaking to anybody right now. You want to talk about uh, TNA? I got your total nonstop action right here, baby. With me is the original midget killer puppet the psycho dwarf, and he's told me that he's got something that he wants to say. That's right. Let's start the show off with midgets. Why? Because midgets are the true stars. I hear in the wrestling business, all you got to do is just, you just bump into somebody. Hey. You, just, you do, hey. you just bump. Hey. You bump right into them. You mean... Uh and you can have a wrestling match that night. You the mean I'm going to get to have me a match with Goldilocks? Look, pal, if you don't get your hand off my breast, you're going to be singing soprano. Got it? I think there's a little something, something between us. So I, I want you to go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What? Dude, go ahead. Let, I, oh, what? Oh, oh. my juju bee. Oh, enough about your juju bees, okay? Go, go. You, you want me to do something, talk about something? Goldie, it's all yours. Glenn, I got to say, in the last couple of months, you've really been doing a great job with Sports Entertainment Extreme. Kudos to you. I, I think you've shocked the world. You've really taken this unit by the balls. But I think last week, the first blemish occurred on your record. Raven, in his hour of need, he didn't come to Sports Entertainment Extreme. He went to Team Extreme, his old buddies. You know, Goldie, how it's always been like the thing to do to open up the show with the big pep talk to the group and slapping somebody in the face? Ooh. Well, let me just tell you right now, I'm not above slapping a woman that deserves it. Oh, hell yeah! Got a really unique match tonight, the House of Clockwork Orange something. Can you just tell us how that works? To tell you the truth, I don't know what the hell Raven calls this match. Beer. Quote the Sandman. Never mind. Uh, Goldie Lick. Is that right? Goldie Lick? Lock. Well, I'm sorry. Lock, Lick, or whatever. You know, I think that... Uh...